Hi! It's Thanksgiving! Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Um, I just got up. I made my coffee. My little fox mug from home. Um, being able to make coffee at home is a new thing. My roommate and I just recently got a French press and like hand coffee grinder. Um, something very satisfying about that working for your coffee. And um, and some Starbucks coffee beans because we live above a Starbucks. Starbucks is on the first floor, we're on 32nd. Super convenient. It was especially convenient when our bathroom wasn't working because they have an actual toilet, like one that you sit on. P.S. Um, Chinese are not used to having a regular toilet, so a lot of the times, and I didn't, I didn't realize this. Cameron had to tell me. Um, it's like why, why do I go into places that have like actual like stand above ground toilets, um, and there's like footprints on them because they're used to, they're used to squatting. Um, so a lot of the times, even though I go to Starbucks and Starbucks is nice, like. The bathroom is kind of a mess, but there was a bathroom for me to use when I couldn't use my own. So I was very grateful. Let's talk about being grateful. Um, I am super, super grateful that I don't have to work today. I don't have any classes to teach, um, nothing to do but clean and cook and maybe make some more videos. Listen to some Vince Guaraldi. Christmas music is starting, guys. It's happening happening here in Wuhan. I'm sure it's been already happening for like a month in the States. Suckers. I love it. I love Christmas music. Starbucks downstairs plays Christmas music. So I'll go there just to hang out just to hear the Christmas music. I'm that Westerner. Um, so, um, I am celebrating Thanksgiving tomorrow, actually. I'm going to a Western style dinner. Um, a restaurant that I haven't been to yet, but I hear it's it's good. It's uh, called Aloha. Um, they're, they, I think they traditionally cook Hawaiian food, or they're from Hawaii, the owners are. But they are doing a Thanksgiving dinner Thursday, our Thursday, your Wednesday night, um, and Friday, your Thursday, Thursday night. Uh, so tomorrow, like tomorrow, I will be enjoying my own Thanksgiving dinner. But that doesn't mean I can't enjoy Thanksgiving with you guys right now. And I have something very special. <laughs> I'm very, very excited. Uh, this is like Christmas morning to me. So before I left for China, like right before I left, I think it was the day that I left, my friend Ashley, uh, before she drove me to the airport, she gave me a little parcel, a little bag. And this is like the sweetest thing anyone's ever done for me. Oh, it, I instantly cried. Like, I hadn't really cried about coming to China yet and leaving everyone for so long. I cried then. You got the tears out of me. So she gave me this little bag, and inside are all these little cards. Um, I already opened one. One was open on Halloween, so I did, and it was great. Then, um, and there's open on Thanksgiving, but on the back, take out present number two. She gave me all these, all these cards. Open when you start getting excited about Christmas. It's already happened, but I have to wait until December 1st, she says. Uh, open on Christmas, open on New Year's Day. Um, and with each of these, there's like a corresponding present. Um, this is the first present. Halloween was just a card, and I don't mean to say just a card because it was still fantastic and I was so, so excited. She also gave me a card to open when I was like feeling super lonely and um, like needed a little pick-me-up and uh, that was great. I already opened it. Um, okay, so I've got like all these, <laughs> all these different presents. Number two, thankful for you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy December, number three. Number four, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. So, I'm going to open them. I'm really, 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 really excited. Uh, she knew um, how sentimental I am. I'm sure most of you do. Um, I'm super sentimental and I'm super into the holidays. Um, just ask 
anyone how much I drown Christmas music down their throats. Um, and Thanksgiving is huge for me. Um, and my dad, I'm really gonna miss watching, watching him, watching football with him uh, this year. And in fact, my roommate was listening to um, a Sounders soccer game yesterday. He was like, sorry, this is probably pretty annoying. So it was just the sound. And I was like, no, it's comforting. <laughs> Sports announcers, I need this right now. So uh, I got a little bit of my fix. So good. Mm. Okay, ready for this? Great. Right. I'm going to open my card. Maybe. I'm not gonna lie, I already started listening to this album last week. P.S. Hanson has a new Christmas album out. My prayers have been answered. 1997, they came out with Snowed In. It was my all time favorite. It still is. Like, honestly, all time favorite Christmas album. It's so good. Um, and I went to go find it on Apple Music the other day. Lo and behold, they came out with another one this year. Yes. Okay. Hello. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's so much. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, my love. I hope China is treating you nicely. I hope you can have your own turkey. I will, I'm gonna have my own turkey. Um, not one that I cook, but somebody else is cooking it. Mashed potato, stuffing, pumpkin pie, feast of your own with some new friends of yours, yes. Or some Chinese food, maybe, tonight. Hey, as long as you have things to be thankful for, and I do, I have so many things to be thankful for, you guys. It's not really about the food. I know on this day, I am ridiculously thankful for you and the incredibly rich, dense, meaningful friendship that we have. I feel like I have known you for years. You were here for me when I was at my lowest. Same. Uh, in fact, I cried her bawling the other day, even 7,000 miles away. She's always there. I needed you the most, and I'll never forget the days that only your presence could cheer me up. All the long nights talking about our newfound faith in God and our morning Bible studies at my parents' house. Amazing dance, praise, and worship at Bridgetown. I miss that so much. The women's night of prayer sealed our fates. Me and you were written in the stars, and I thank God for you. And Blair! <laughs> my friend Blair actually introduced us. To, um, Ashley is, was my massage therapist for like two years before we actually became really good friends. Um, thank you for being my best friend. I love you so much. Hugs and kisses, Ashley. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Ah! Ashley. <laughs> Try really hard not to lose it right now. <sighs> okay, present time. Mm. Um, yeah, she and I have been through a lot. Um, I was down on her table one day, and I had just like recently started going back to church, and um, just felt really compelled to tell her. And she and I had like shared a lot about ourselves and our lifestyles that were not really like you know, like we went to festivals and had fun in a lot of ways, but like godly people probably don't. So I'm like lying there like naked on her table. And I'm like, hey, yeah. yeah started going back to church, and I described the church that I go to, and she's like, oh, is that Bridgetown? I'm like, yeah, how do you know? She's like, oh, I go there sometimes. And we started going together, and a lot of transformations happened. And she's become one of my very best friends. She uh, told me she got rid of all this jewelry. 
that I really, really loved, like all of her, all of her crystals. Um, and she didn't. She did this. To, <laughs> she did this to me. Um, she did this to me before for for my birthday. She gave me a necklace um, that she knew I like absolutely adored. I loved that necklace, and I thought she had sold it and she gave it away. And this was really uh, filled with the spirit. Um, this is really uh, indicative of the time in her life that she was in because she was kind of like giving up her past self so she was giving up like all of her her chakra stuff and her um, her crystals and things that were that she was putting before the most important things in her life God and herself and her family and her her husband and blah 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 um, both of us had gone through some really big transformations so I was watching her get rid of all these things that like she had previously held so dear and I was like oh those are really beautiful and I really love them just because my dad and I like rocks and I really love crystals um, so she gave me this really beautiful necklace for my birthday and I thought she had get, gotten rid of it lo and behold I thought she got rid of this guy too. It's a it's a bracelet. It's a really beautiful bracelet. And it, uh, you guys are probably thinking I'm a huge goober right now, and I totally am. Um, but this is very meaningful to me and very very sweet. And uh, there there's so much here. Um, so thank you, lady. That was really beautiful. <laughs> a total surprise. <laughs> So, thankfulness. I am super, 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 super thankful for the amazing friends and support that I have out here. One of the biggest takeaways uh, that I will have from this trip is knowing how many people I have back home that love me. And I've always known that, but not to this extent. Um, so many of you have been so freaking wonderful. Um, <laughs> And I don't even, I don't know, I don't know how to express in words, like, how, how much that means to me now, especially now that I'm in a place where I can't just, like, call up anyone and be like, hey, you want to hang out? You want to listen to me, like, tell my sob story right now? Like, and sometimes I can, but you're back in Portland, and you're still willing to listen to me, even though I'm 7,000 miles away, and, um, I have such good people in my life. I have such a good family. I have an amazing little kitty at home. I have an amazing church in Portland that I miss a lot. And you guys are going to hear more on that in a bit. Because um, actually, I'm uh, probably later today, I will record you a little song for all this. I've been wanting to. And I'm finally like getting my voice back a little bit. So um, I, have, I have the day off. It's Thanksgiving. I'm super, super grateful and super happy right now. Um, so... Um, so, I'm gonna sing later, and I'll see you guys soon. I love you so much. Enjoy lots of food and family and friends and good times and wine and more good times. And I love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. Ashley, I love you so much. This is you little sneak. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you.